Uh, starting off with the latest on Hurricane Ian. Absolutely, Ben. Although it's been downgraded now to a tropical storm, it was one of the most powerful to hit Florida. And it's not finished with its damage because although it's ripped across Florida now, there's still rain to fall here. And as you can see from it, it's very extensive, the rain already now heading into northern Florida and into Georgia and the Carolinas. So again, still a lot of storm surge potentially here, five or six feet. That's nearly two metres and several hundred millimetres of rain are forecast for other states in the USA in the southeast in the next couple of days. Hello, good afternoon. It was a chilly start earlier on this morning. Temperatures in some southern home counties dipped down to low single figures. Plenty of early cloud around as well as captured by a weather watcher here in Wanstead. Not too long though before the sunny spells break through as captured by our weather watcher in Greenford. And we'll still see some more sunny spells for much of the rest of the afternoon. Just this area of cloud drifting southwards. So clouding over for some could produce one or two showers, but I think most places will stay completely dry. There's a light northeasterly wind and temperatures are a little higher than they were yesterday. Hello there, very good evening to you. Hope you had a lovely day. Now it's a month to Halloween and these guys are ready already. Let's hope they last. We've got a bit of a cool start for you tomorrow morning and quite foggy in some areas as well. And then quite a bit of the daytime tomorrow will be dry, but later on we've got some wet and windy weather heading our way. And uh, that hurricane is hitting Florida. Yeah, and in fact, we're, we're probably going to see another, almost certainly another landfall in the next uh, 24 hours. So the eye went over land, it collapsed, the storm got downgraded into a, a tropical storm, but now it's actually going to go out to sea again. And the thinking is that Friday during the day, local time, it's going to hit South Carolina, not with the force that it hit Florida, but certainly severe weather expected, uh, flash flooding from uh, the heavy rain and obviously damaging winds as well. So we're not done with the storm. Now we have wet and windy weather on the way as well for Friday, but not right from the word go. This is an area of low pressure, quite a deep area of low pressure. So that means strong winds and heavy rain sweeping in our direction. But ahead of it, you can see much quieter weather. Thanks, Alice. Uh, the weather tomorrow, actually in the morning, is going to be pretty good. Uh, skies will look like this. However, later on, in the day and towards the evening we've got a very different picture on the way it's going to be wet and windy so friday night a really soggy one on the way but it will be a chilly blustery evening out there how about the weekend itself well we think it's going to be bright and breezy for the most part with a few showers we reported earlier on the extreme weather hurricane ian has brought to florida it's so powerful that even on this side of the Atlantic, we are really beginning to feel its effects. And Alex is here. So you've been looking, haven't you, at some of the impacts of Hurricane Ian, even on this side of the Atlantic? Yes, as we head through the next 24 hours, we are going to get a period of wet and windy weather, which is going to be kind of powered by Hurricane Ian. have to say, Hurricane Ian has now been downgraded to a tropical storm, but that could well change as we head through the next few days and it starts to hit the coast of Carolina. So do bear with us, but you can see it has been pretty devastating stating wind speeds up to 150 miles an hour at uh, landfall uh, that caused storm surges of more than two meters above normal tidal levels and they've seen uh, more than half a meters worth of rainfall in the last three days alone and as i say there will be more to come as i say we are going to start to feel some of the effects in some kind of way let me explain that for you we're going to see uh, warmer air from hurricane ian be pushed towards us and that is going to drive the jet stream which is going to be pretty strong and will help deepen areas of low pressure the first of which we're going to see as we head overnight into tomorrow this band of rain is going to be quite heavy and as a result uh, the Met Office have issued a warning for wind and rain particularly across western and northern parts as much as 40 millimeters of rain falling in a fairly short period of time with wind gusts up to 75 miles an hour so that's the way it's looking over the next few days. As I say, remember probably for tomorrow that rain's going to be quite heavy and also the wind's really whipping up as well. Okay. But for now, from everyone on the team, have a lovely evening. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.